Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode. Sorry it's been so long, I've been busy. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we are going to do a little um, newbie session. I am going to teach you how to make a nether portal. And I'm going to show you around the nether. Um, if you are a newbie to Minecraft, obviously, you have no idea what I'm talking about now. Um, but we'll get there. So, what we need to start off with. In order to make a nether portal, we are going to need obsidian, which is made by mixing water with lava. You need a still lake of lava, and you need to pour water on it, or add water. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to do a little example for you. So. don't think we need to do this but I'll do it just to show you so basically first of all what we need to do is uh, go digging we need to find some iron ore which looks like this and then once we've got iron ore we can then smelt the iron ore we need three of them I believe to make an iron bucket which is this once we've got a bucket we can collect some lava like I have previously done here what we're going to do now is we're going to pour the lava in here. So now your lava's in here. This is still like a lava. As you can see, this lava is not moving anywhere. It's not a stream of lava. It's just a still lake of lava. Or just a still bit of lava. Now what we're going to do is we've got another bucket. Um, you could use the same one. Then you go to the ocean, collect some water quite straightforward, pour it on here. And let's take that out. And there is nothing. Why is there nothing? Um, hmm. May have done that wrong. <laughs> supposed to uh, create some. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to create um, obsidian, but that didn't work at all. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come find you some lava. Okay. So I was trying to take a bit of a shortcut there. But, yeah, that shortcut didn't work, did it? Do you think the best place I could go to find some lava? See, this is going to take... Ooh. Hello, somber. Oh, no, you didn't. Get out of the sunlight. You know, now it's daytime. Silly bully. <laughs> hey, y'all. So you're all chilling down there. <laughs> yeah, I've not been in, down here in quite a while, to be fair. I've been uh, busy doing other stuff, so it has uh, become quite deserted. And I'm probably going to get very lost trying to find my way back. Oh, look, we found water. Oh, nice one. Oh, I think I've been here before. Look at all the lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. Hey, look, there's some obsidian right there. So one little neat trick that you might not know as a newbie. If you fall from this height, it will hurt. But if you jump into water, like so, you don't die. Crazy, I know. So yeah, you found water like here. So what you do is just keep tapping on the water. There you go. Now you've got a bucket of water. You can pour the water here. There you go, you get a stream of water and collect the water again. Where is this lava? I can hear it, but I can't find it. Woohoo! I like ya! found some lava good job it appears to be a still lake of lava which we like a still lake of lava don't know why we like a still lake of lava because we can totally do this hey so what I've done is I poured water on a still lake of lava now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click L2 again. So we click L2 like so. 
with the bucket it collects all the water and then you can dig your obsidian when you try to dig obsidian make sure you do not stand directly over the top of it because most likely the obsidian uh, is well it's, it's basically turned into stone over the top of lava if you dig directly on top of the stone you are going to fall directly into the lava okay so what you want to do is you want to dig like let's say this block here Uh, like so there is lava underneath that time we did not collect the obsidian you want to try and stand a little bit closer to it so that when you break it it like kind of jumps up to you nope once again that went back in the lava so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to place water right here now the water's running this might make it a slight bit easier to get the obsidian because if there is lava underneath it once you break this obsidian the water will run into the lava there you go and your obsidian floats you can collect it like so perfect so now I've showed you how to get obsidian basically what you do is you just keep repeating it again and again and again and again and again and then before you know it you've got loads of obsidian da -da -da. cool don't forget when you pour the water on the lava you are going to end up with virtually no light because lava is a light form so make sure when you go in hunting for your obsidian make sure you take plenty of candles to find your way round some more water there after your days Ooh. okay so now we've got loads of obsidian. We've also found some iron. When creating a nether portal, iron is also a vital part of this. You may not need it for the actual nether portal itself, but you will need it to activate that nether portal. So make sure you find any iron. You collect your iron to take it back to your house and smelt it. We're going to get some redstone as well because, well, redstone's awesome and there's loads here. <gasps> and we found some diamonds. Yes, please. I like diamonds, I sure do. Oh, it looks like there's others too. Oh my god, there's four. <laughs> Fortune one on this one. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm gonna dig it with this pickaxe. I would like to dig it with a fortune three pickaxe, but I don't think it's iron to be quite f uh, I don't think it's um diamond. Oh, I could leave them there. If I had a silk touch pickaxe, I could not just break the block like you would normally do, and it would drop a diamond or maybe two diamonds. But if you had a silk touch pickaxe you could actually break it as like a whole block then what you could do is take it back plant it down somewhere near your base if you've got like a fortune 3 pickaxe then you could uh, use your fortune 3 pickaxe and then instead of getting maybe one diamond out of this block you get about five or so but today I can't be bothered going through all that because I'm actually showing you something quite different today uh, we're sticking with the nether portal theme so I'm just going to break it with my fortune 1 pickaxe that I've got here one diamond two diamonds another one diamond and another two diamonds and one diamond so let's have a little look out of eight blocks of diamonds we got 11 diamonds yes please we like them we certainly do Right, let's try and find our way back to the house now. So we've got back to the bit that we were at before. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, as you can see, there's a big, tall lake of water. If you literally walk into this lake of water, whilst pressing A, you float upwards. 
I keep pointing in the direction that you're going. and stay in that lake but do you know what I mean you could literally it's impossible to do that in real life but you could literally just swim all the way to the very top of her you fall out but it hurts how do you get back up to the top I've done this before <laughs> <gasps> whoa that was a close call that night wow Oh, <laughs> I was literally just about to say if I fall from this height, it is going to really hurt. And it did. So now we have uh, been down doing a little bit of mining we found a still lake of lava which we poured water on top of to make obsidian we dug the obsidian with a diamond pickaxe we now have obsidian so what we're going to do is we're just going to go anywhere in an empty bit of space say for example here and we are going to place three blocks of obsidian in a straight row we're going to place one random block at the side and one random block at this side so you've got one two three four five blocks in a row one random three obsidian one random then you're going to stand on top of this block here and place one two three blocks of obsidian one random then stand to the edge of this block and click one block of obsidian two blocks of obsidian three blocks of obsidian and then a random and then you're going to jump down which might hurt a little but not too much uh, and then you're going to place one two three blocks of obsidian so here we have a nice little nether portal here but oh wait it's not activated how do we activate it so you know before when i said you're going to need some iron ore in order to smell in a furnace i will show you how to smell it in the furnace I'm pretty sure I have already showed you this before, but it's always handy to recap, okay? So we go to one of our furnaces in the house. And that's what says furnace here. So what we want to do is we want to put some coal in the fuel section. We want to put some iron ore in the furnace. This little flame here means it is smelting. Once it has finished smelting, we will then have an iron ingot like so we'll get that iron ingot once you've got a few of them if you also place some gravel say for example here and here if you dig this gravel like you just saw then it drops flint sometimes but not always so now we've got iron ingots and flint we can now make flint and steel if you just click L2 anywhere, maybe a little bit further away from you, don't do it like here, you'll see some full fire. But if you do it there, it starts fire. Cool, I know. So what you want to do is you want to go up to your nether portal. Don't stand in it, because you will set yourself alight. Don't stand dead away from it. Stand roughly about here. And then L2. There you go. Yes, please. So this is your very own snazzy little nether portal. Let's go in. So you stand in here, it was a bit fuzzy, and then it will come up with a screen. It says loading terrain. Okay, now whew, you are in the nether. That behind me was 
a enderman okay so little tip for you enderman spawn a hell of a lot in the nether to be quite frankly honest and if you look them in the eye like so they will attack you huh you see me and he's he's coming for me but do you know what he can't get to me i can get him though don't know why he can't get to me because this is only two blocks high he's too tall what a shame <laughs> so cool. he can't get to you but if you step out of here he can get to you and he hits really hard so whatever you do do not look him in the eye unless you're standing over something which is only two blocks high this by the way guys is an ender pearl if you get ender pearls you can then make ender eyes with other things and we can find the ender dragon which i have not yet done but i do want to do at some point so we'll have that journey together at one point guys yeah so yeah this is another pretty cool i know that little weird noise that you can hear going or something along the lines of that is a ghast to kill a ghast you definitely definitely need a bow and it's a little white thing that kind of looks a bit like an octopus but it flies don't ask bizarre anyway so back to it this is the nether loads of lava and you will also find loads weird creatures that you have never ever seen before in your normal world you want to make sure you take a heck of a lot of lights you can find your way round by placing the candles and following them to get back home that is what i'd recommend oh jesus bad piggy bad piggy oh no you did it no I don't want to kill you, but if you keep trying to attack me, I will do. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Please don't attack me. Don't run away from them. So then pigs really also hurt. Do you know what I've also just thought? Piglins. Uh, unless you're wearing gold, don't go in the nether. They will attack you. Yes, I know I'm not wearing gold. I didn't know I wasn't wearing gold. Until right now. Now I know I'm not wearing gold. Woo! Oh, for God's sake. You see me? Okay. So what we want to do, really, really quick, we want to go back home. Because we're not wearing gold if we're not wearing gold the piglin guy sees us and he kicks our booties we can do this we can make it help i forgot i also brought no food with me really bad idea guys do not come into the nether with no gold and no food. It is asking for a disaster. Whew. Made it back, man. Made it back alive. Whew. That was the close call, man. So close. And we're back home. We made it home safe. So, I'm just going to go and get a few bits and bobs. I would always recommend when you go through, take lots of food, take the best bow you have, take a heck of a lot of arrows if you don't have infinity, and I would like to say don't wear your best armor, but it's good if you can wear good armor, because it's less likely that you'll die but then again you probably will die like a hundred times your first time you go into the nether it's uh oh oh jesus them guys are magma um things they basically when you kill them 
they split off like a big one I'll turn into three. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. What's going on? <laughs> did I look that guy in the eye? It looks like I did. He's really angry with me. Why are you angry with me? Ow. Do I need for that? Did I mean to look you in the eye? No. Ah! Oh, go away from me. Jesus. It's not one of you, it's the other one. This is what I mean. The nether. It's a dangerous place, guys. Just don't go here. <laughs> That's what you get for being nasty. Huh? Is that all you really dropped? A block. Yeah, in case I didn't tell you before. These guys are Endermen. You look at Endermen in the eye and it will attack you. If you stand under something like I stood under here a minute ago that was only two blocks high. Look right here. I look them in the eye. Uh oh. I look both of them in the eye. And they can't get to me because it's only two blocks tall. When you kill an Enderman, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, it drops this. Which is a Ender Pearl. Ah, uh, with an Ender Pearl and some other ingredients, you can make an Eye of Ender. Eye of the Ender? Something like that. Uh, I've made a few of them, I've not yet used them. Supposedly, you chuck them up in the air and you can find some dragon. I know, confusing, right? We're going to get to that bit, but for right now, this is all probably mind blowing to somebody new at Minecraft. All this knowledge, may I just say, is from a very wise friend of mine. You know who you are? Jen, huh? My little Minecraft buddy. She has literally taught me virtually, I'd say at least a good 80% of my Minecraft knowledge. Along with Jazz, Jazz has also wised me up with Minecraft. Most certainly. And Uncle Google. I've got to mention Uncle Google. He's been a big help to uh, making me more knowledgeable when it comes to uh, Minecraft. So, here we have one of the coolest things that you will find in the nether, which I love, is a... Can anyone tell me what it is? It's a nether fortress. Do I know how it's a nether fortress? Because it has these funky looking little bricks on it. Yeah, and it's absolutely huge and it's right near lava that is how you know it is a nether fortress also another big clue for you here is that things like this spawn near it this is a blaze blaze drop when killed not always but sometimes these and these are blaze rods. Oh, but there's another one up there. Oh! Didn't mention, they shoot fireballs. Harsh. Blaze rod, yay! If it's the first time that you're ever finding one of these, kind of try and find a little bit of a, a place that you can view it from afar. Because there's a lot of things that will kill you. This is a wither skeleton. Wither skeletons are really do hurt and they can kill you even when like your hearts are like full yeah. don't get on the wrong side of them dude they're, they're not very nice little chaps Don't ever let him touch her! Jesus. Them guys shoot fireballs with the skeletons, give you the wither effect. Neither one tonight. It hurts. 
Most things in the nether aren't that friendly. I'll be quite frankly honest with you. Uh, quite easy to get lost in this place. That is why I would always, always recommend leaving torches around. So in one of these nether fortresses, what you want to look for is some form of a staircase. So in the staircases, like underneath the staircases, you find... Oh, Jesus, not again. Oh, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please... Oh my God, there's loads of them. So yeah, if you've managed to find a staircase um, or a chest, you can find uh, nether wart. Nether wart is a massive, massive ingredient when it comes to potion making. You need this to make virtually any potion. So what I would always recommend is have a little wander around, see what you can find. If you can find some nether wart, fantastic, you can start your potion experience. Jeepies. Ah. Scary in this place, bro. I just want my hearts to go back up to full. If a wither skeleton pops out on me now, I'm going to poop myself. Ah, uh, like him. Try not to ever let him come right near you. Oh. Yes, please. So I've previously been here before in one of these chests. I found some nether wart. I was very, very impressed with it. Oh my god. God, he's gonna get me. I say, never let them guys touch you. They don't half hurt when they give you the wither effect. Uh oh. shot the piggy then. <laughs> Don't shoot the piggy, he's a friendly piggy. Oh, so yeah, pigs, friends. Were the skeletons? Not friends. Normal skeletons, also not friends. As I said before, you find stairs like this. Stairs like this usually have what? What is underneath there? Uh, stairs like this usually have nether wall on either side of the staircases. I have already collected it. Whoa! Eh. Yeah, I've already collected it all. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh 
Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die man. <laughs> Please don't shoot my balls at me. I just wanna go home, there's no place like home, there's no place like- ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know where I am. How do I get home? How do I get home? How do I get home? Oh my god, would you just all go away? Whew! Close call. I think I know where I am now. I think. Yeah, I know where I am. Um, yeah. So, we've got a hell of a lot of blaze oh my god and again a hell of a lot of blaze rods uh now i'm sure you understand why i said don't forget to get the infinite arrows when it comes to going to the nether why because well you need them just stop spawning Okay, hang on, did he just drop a rod? Sure did. I'm going home! Ah, uh, look how many wither skeletons are right up there, dude. Uh oh! These guys are really evil. Two blocks high, two blocks high, two blocks high. Is this two blocks high? Ah, it's not two blocks high. This is two blocks high. This guy's gonna kick my booty. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah! Stop it! Seriously, dude! Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Oh, my f ah! Okay, so when you die in the nether, uh, you have five minutes to find your way back to where you were and collect your belongings in order not to lose them. This is gonna be a mission. Don't forget, when you're in the nether without gold on, the likelihood of you dying increases by like a hundred. Why? Because the piggies don't like you. Without gold, oh boy, they can see you. And oh boy, do they try and attack you. Also, like one or two hits from an enderman will completely kill you without any armor on. Like right then, I took loads of hits off that enderman because I had full diamond armor minus the gold boots. Full diamond armor on, and he still managed to whoop my buddy after like five hits. But luckily, I have done this so many times before because, well, to be honest, I, uh, I, I, I died like hundreds of times when I first found my first Nether fortress. I'm not joking when I say I must have died. A good a hundred times. No word of a lie. So now, when it comes to getting back to my stuff, I'm like a pro, bro. I know exactly where I was. Happy days. Let's go back under there for a second. As soon as you find your stuff, you want to put everything back on as quick as you can. Especially the gold. Jesus. Yep. Got the arrow. Cool, got the, uh, the bow. Oh no, you did it. Oh, God, there's a. Woo, Jesus! I don't like the nether. Why? Because I always die. 
And there's lots of things I wanna whoop my booty in the nether. Jesus. And again. Why are you following me? Why? Why? Thanks for the extra nether rod. Nether rod? Blaze rod. What the hell's a nether rod? I don't even know. I don't even know whether there's such thing as a nether rod. These guys, don't bother them. You hit one of them, there's like ten of them around. They're all gonna gang up on you and whoop your booty. Just don't do it. Unless, of course, they've got like gold armor or something on him, which you need or want. That is a ghast. You shoot a ghast. Hey. So when you shoot a ghast. If the gas sees you, its eyes will go red and it will shoot a fireball at you. Just to let you know. Where did I kill it? Still chasing me. So gas don't always drop gas tears. Only sometimes. And I think it just dropped him then but in lava. Ah! Jesus. Nasty little piggy things. Uh oh, where did I come from? Came from down here. I can see my torches. Woo! Yeah, gas tend to mind their own business, but then if they see ya. Uh, they, they they do hurt. These things very very annoying. Magma blocks is it? Magma things? Or maybe just call magnus. Not too sure. But um yeah, basically magmas they once you if you hit a big one it will turn into like three smaller ones. You hit one of the three smaller ones, that one will turn into three more even smaller ones. The more you hit him, the more there is to hit you. The smaller ones don't really do much damage. The big ones do. But if there's loads of the smaller ones, they do do damage. Okay, cool. So I think that is it for today because I've never pooped myself on several occasions. Hey! <laughs> so yeah, that's our first level experience with the Nether. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I hope it's been pretty helpful for you.